Kristen, did your friend predict this in a dream last weekend or something? I'm I'm so glad somebody brought it up because he needs to go play the lotto. Uh, about a week ago, he, he messaged me saying that he had a dream that I made my debut and then I struck out 10 in my debut. And I told him I was trying to make it a reality. You're seeing him bebopping around in the dugout, trying to stay calm, trying to stay cool and not let those feelings of anxiety get the better of him. He was singing to his song and I don't know if that part of uh, getting rid of his nerves, but whatever it was, it worked, keep doing it, because he, it was fantastic, it was very exciting to watch. Mackenzie's wide and his first pitch in the big leagues a is a fastball strike. That first inning was really huge for me. Focus and poise, I mean hot knife through butter. Growing up, I was probably seven or eight when Miggy was starting to come up. So for me to face him when I'm now getting into the league was huge for me. That is Nolan Jones. Is that right? The, one of the top prospects for the Indians. He wanted to come in and see his buddy, get his first start. Nolan's a really good friend of mine and he didn't have to do that. Uh, but he did. I'm gonna try and be there for his because I'm gonna feel bad if I'm not. He wasn't even allowed in the stadium. He was, he was watching, so. Strike three oh, with a fastball <laughs> at 97 miles an hour. Blew it right by him for the second time tonight. He strikes out Miguel Cabrera. And he takes a fastball, strike three called. Swung on and missed, he <laughs> ate him up again. This kid is uh, uh, something else. Good night, I mean not even fair. Double Ten digits. strikeouts in the Major League debut of Tristan McKenzie. He goes right after hitters, and that's, that's uh, you know, it's impressive to watch. He don't care who's, who's in there, you know. Miguel Cabrera in there, he's like going after him, 95, 96, you know. Um, and that, that, that's what you want. Last night, this morning, when I was kind of, I was kind of going through in terms of nerves and trying to get ready for the start and kind of just men, make, making sure I was mentally there as I haven't thrown in a while. Uh, I texted him and I texted Savali and both of them came back with great feedback in terms of just, you know, going out there and just being the pitcher that I know I can be. And I think it showed and I'm really grateful to both of them. The guys with experience, guys that have been here before and they kind of helped ease my mind and help me go out there and be comfortable. I'm still floating right now. I probably wouldn't even say that it's really going to hit me until I go home and like go play MLB The Show or something and I face Miggy like in the game.